Mad Who. Hello, I'm Mad Who. I do, and I rode from the country. Wow, where'd I get country from? Rode from our home out by our lands just to meet you in person and for a few days' escapes. Was your journey pleasant? Um, it was reasonably comfortable, thank you. Oh yes, uh, I always appreciate a chance to travel to places without a thick canopy, and uh, your countryside is nice, even in its current state. Um, I appreciate a chance to travel places without a thick canopy. My mother and father visited Naga territories once on a diplomatic journey. They said your homeland was lovely and all so abundant with resources. It makes me wonder why you need the empire at all. Um, access to metals and ports are a factor. Well, it's not my job. <laughs> the, I broker trade alliances. I just think of it as a uh, paternal. We strengthen those places who cannot stand on their own. Um. Let's do backhanded. I like to think of it as paternal and sharing for those places who cannot stand on their own. You should talk to us if you ever want a place to stay while you're in business. Our estate is very comfortable and we would be pleased to do anything we could to facilitate trade and good relations. It's long past time we reached out to you, don't you think? And we to you, if I require a lot of work, frankly. We passed rights on our way in. Um, now that you absolutely need us, you mean? Uh, as, as we to you. Um, I hope all goes well with this treaty. This could turn the worst year of Bahimra's history into the finest year it has in a long time. Okay, stairs. Ah, uh, don't walk so slow. You, sir, servant. He swallows and averts his eyes. Is there anything this way? Oh, oh, there is. Servant. Don't harm your brothers. Don't take from your brothers. Oh, wish it were that easy to make people listen. Oh, there are places. Um, noble woman. Remarkable God of Dons of... <laughs> Names for Reven. You'll forgive me. I just have to oversee the gardens. Thirty years of devising the treasury was enough politics for a lifetime. Uh, may I commend you on your magnificent works. It must be difficult to keep all the plants healthy. What... With the prolonged drought, um, well, politics is what I'm here for. Perhaps we should, I shouldn't waste your time. Uh, may I commend you on your magnificent work? <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't used to know a thing about gardening about a year ago. I realized that I was getting to the point where every place administration, blah, 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 getting to the point where every palace administrator without a bill hook in his hand was going to have a turn his attention to the slums and all that unpleasant business. So I picked up a bill hook. Haven't looked back since either. Interesting. Nobody here seems keen to talk about the slums. Doesn't the attitude strike you as problematic? I don't blame you. It seems like even Naga Empire is doing the best to ignore the refugees in Bahamra slums. Uh, doesn't that attitude strike you as problematic? What can be done when there's nothing to be done? I realize not everyone can adopt such carefree attitude about our city's inevitable, inevitable crisis, but for over a year now, Whenever anyone has tried to engage me on the matter, all I can think is there is nothing I can say or do to help. So I garden. It's wonderful work. You'll forgive me if, for not understanding your position. Uh, the treaty will help, won't it? It will give your city the food it needs. Perhaps that's a wise attitude to take. Uh, your treaty, the treaty will help. Ah, well, yes, and then again, no. But Himron needs to take care of its of its essential citizens first, everyone from the nobility to the peasantry. After that, I'm afraid there isn't much left for the slum dwellers, who are, <laughs> I feel I must point out, worthless to us. It's a matter of knowing what we can save and what we can't. The slums suffer as they always have and always will, until the disease that is famine gets to them as it someday must. The farms will crack and turn to dust and there's nothing we can do about it. The people may spit on the name of their king and take into the streets and riots, with all our problems, none of that can be helped. But the day we let slip the great things Mahimra has built, this garden, our palace, our way of life, then we can, tr then we are truly lost beyond hope. Your premise is flawed. Gardens don't make a city what it is people do. I can understand why you'd feel that way. This is sickening conversation. I want no more part of it. Excuse me, there are others I need to speak to you. Uh, your premise is flawed. Gardens don't make a city what it is people do. Can't say I agree with you, but hey. You're not from around here, I guess you wouldn't understand. Ooh. Nobleman, noblewoman, ah, uh, named person. I'm called Kahushi. I've been asked to show you some of the garments I sew in my village. 
If it uh if it pleases you. It's alright, I understand why you'd be why you find it frightening. Uh we don't have to talk. Um yes, very good, excuse me. And your selling is of exceptional quality. Um we don't have to talk. I'm sorry, nobody prepared me. I knew you were Naga in the slums, but we haven't been allowed into the city much because y Yogesh thinks we'll run away if we get the chance. I'm sorry, don't deserve this. Uh, this has been a difficult year for everyone. Okay, that's the guard. Oh, Kirin. Did the rites when we arrived not worry you? I knew Bahimra was only sheltered our refugees to soften us towards the trade agreement, but I'm starting to worry for their safety. I think I ought to go to the slums to see things for myself. The whole reason I came here was to see their education and integration into Bahimra society. Absolutely go, but insist on guards going with you. It could be very dangerous out there. Don't. We need to learn more before we can take make uh, we can take any rash actions. This is diplomacy after all. Kirin is our official capacity. Those refugees will always be a distant priority. They're no good for anybody. Uh, absolutely go, but insist on guards going with you. It could be very dangerous out there. I'll see what I can. I'll see what I can arrange. We'll talk later tonight. Until then, I think we have to assume the worst. Servant. First, the food markets. Now even the palace has something. It went too fast. Another servant. Ugh. Okay. There are people, I assume, down here. Yogesh. Greetings, name is Yogesh. I own the farmlands. You, you people pass on your way in. Hopefully nobody gave you any trouble usually when my people see a big snake. They all go at it with spade. And when we see a talking monkey, we usually put the jug down. There is no problem, thank you. I'm sure they were occupied with their labor. I know how difficult it is to dig dry earth. Yeah, it's difficult to dig dry yeah, it can be. Like trying to dig a spear point through one of those scales, right? Tricky job. Doable, but tricky. Interesting analogy. I mean no disrespect. After all, it's through honest toil like yours that Bahimra has any food at all. Oh, it takes training to leverage our hide properly. It's part of the reason why we train our soldiers so extensively. Uh, I mean no disrespect. Oh, you think you're being slick, don't you? I know what you're doing, you're just trying to wave your power over our heads like your empire is so vast the, and powerful and you're so magnanimous bleh, for dwe dealing with us instead of invading, isn't that right? <laughs> yes, yes, it is right. I never meant to insinuate anything, try to, I try to be as plain as possible. Interesting. Um, I try to be as plain as possible. Take your pleasantry somewhere else, snake. Lax me. Well, now that you spoke to my husband, I suppose you won't be grudge us with some conversation. He doesn't much like it when visitors speak to me. First, you see, he finds it disrespect disrespectful. Um, there's several cases in our society. Our class structure means status is hotly disputed. Uh, I see. Then we may converse now. Speaking with me is an obligation. I promise you, it's one you can can avoid. I have nothing of value to tell you, and nothing to lend your empire. I am here to smile, speak as often as necessary, and leave no impression behind. Um, that's disappointing. Not at all, I have to wait for King Queen anyway. Uh, not at all. I have to wait for King Queen anyway. So what should talk about? Politics? Gossip? Pointless niceties? I'll let you decide. Politics seem like the most appropriate. Human gossip. Perhaps we should stick to nicety. Politics. Pimra's politics aren't as compelling well, as compelling once you learn the secret that no one is as good as it no one is as good as it at it as they pretend my husband makes the same mistake over and over again and he's better than most i don't think it's responsible it's responsible for a situation but i doubt it helps uh seems like a risky thing to say would you do things differently uh i couldn't possibly co comment uh would you do things differently yes and that's all about there is to say i think about it again of course, I wouldn't say anything against our king and queen. Of course, I look forward to meeting them. Wouldn't or could, can't. I look forward to meeting them. Mind yourself today, not many in the city are sympathetic to you. And while people like us are all too terribly aware of how much we need you, not everyone is. I can't make friends with everyone in the city, and you'll be in serious trouble if you should ever have to. Okay, so people are afraid, don't want to go near them because they'll probably try to kill me. Okay, boom, 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 palace card. 